Hi everybody, it's Emma Jane, welcome back to Colouring Kids. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a get to know me tag and I was very kindly tagged by Colouring K, or as she is now called, um, Kirsty Colour and Sketch. So I believe um, Debbie from Colour Me Stress Free was the originator of this tag. Please let me know if I'm wrong though. Um, I will tag her video and um, Kirsty's video down below. I really enjoyed watching both of them. And even though I do mention stuff about myself in colour and chats and things like that and what I'm up to, I'm not sure how much you guys actually know about me so I think this is going to be quite fun to do and I'd love to know in the comments if there's anything in particular that you were surprised about um, or you uh, learnt something about me that you didn't know before. Um, that would be really really fun. So I'm just going to get started because there's a lot of questions and um, I don't really know what I'm going to start on in my picture that I'm working on so I'm doing a double spread from Ivy and Inky Butterfly by Joanna Basford. Um, in my old copy, I wasn't too happy with how it came out. Um, it was this one. It, this side was one of the first pages that I did in the book. Um, but yeah, I'm going to obviously be colouring it again in my new copy. And uh, so far I'm colouring it very, very slowly. Uh, it's taken me many days to just um get through it i've been in a bit of a coloring stump lately uh, so far in the month i've only completed four pictures and i've got two whips this is one of them and yeah i just i haven't i don't know why because i obviously really love coloring but i haven't really been um feeling it um but i am getting back into trying to complete the whips um but yeah i just did a bit of thing um the things up here um the other day um yeah, I'm just going to get started. So I've got loads of pencils just around me because I've been using quite a few different ones for various things and I've lost track now of all of them. So I'm going to move the camera so I can colour it more easily. I don't really know how much colouring I'm actually going to get done in this video because obviously I'm going to be chatting a lot and um, I probably won't have my full attention on uh, the colouring. So let me just move this. So as usual, I will be using various pencils. I've got my To Girl Sharpener, my Dermot Battery Eraser, things like that next to me just in case I need them. Um, and yep, yeah, this is what I'm going to be working on. Um, sorry if it's slightly dim. Um, I mean, oh, that might be a tiny better. Um, it's late afternoon and it's still really, really light, but I'm not sure how good the lighting will be. Let me just move my chair. Um, so... I'm just going to get started. So I think I'm going to work on some bits up here. Uh, the picture might be all over the place when I'm colouring, but I think mainly with this you're probably just listening along rather than focusing on what I'm colouring. So it's not a tutorial as such, it's kind of just um, watching, uh, listening I guess. So uh, I'm probably just going to begin somewhere around here. So the first question is what is your name? So as I say in the intro of all of my videos my name is Imogen so um, that's obviously a fairly straightforward question um, but yeah I always say it in my videos so it I don't think it's a surprise to you. Obviously I don't put it in any of my um, I don't have it in my um, YouTube name obviously I don't have it in Colouring Kid but I do say it in my videos. So number two, what is your nickname? So I have um, a couple, most people call me Imogen. Um, my nickname, I guess for lots of my family members is Imo and some of my friends also used to call me Imo but um, generally um, my friends call me Imi. So that's another of my nicknames. And really it can be Imi with two M's, Imi with one M, but generally I stick with Imogen because um, that's just what I've been called mostly. But especially when I was younger I was called Imo a lot. Um, so number three is do you like your name? And yeah, I do like my name. Um, to be honest, I couldn't really imagine myself not being called Imogen. The only other name um, that my parents were leaning towards when I... Um, when they were picking names was Eleanor so I could see myself being an Eleanor but um, I think we all have that thing with our names is we, we can't really imagine ourselves being called anything else 
uh, or at least I I do but uh, yeah I'm really happy with my name I I like it um, so number four when is your birthday so my birthday is the 11th of November and you might remember that uh, I did a colour along in my birthday month obviously because um, it was the polar bears in November I am planning on doing another one hopefully around that time not sure exactly when or what it will be but I will think of something and um, I am going to be 16 this year so big big year that's crazy I can't believe it I, this year is going quite quickly anyway just because of obviously being in lockdown and everything but it's crazy to me that I'm going to be 16 but yeah that is the that is when my birthday is so the 11th of November so, uh, number five, what are three of your favourite colours? So, I really like blue, um, any type of blue, but I kind of like um, blues like this that I'm using right now. It's kind of a lighter blue, a periwinkle type blue. Um, I do like dark blues as well, mainly kind of jean colours and indigo colours. Um, I like purples, so I like violet colours like this, and I really like bluish purples as well like the lilac and the uh is it the periwinkle colour in the holbeins um and i also like any pastel colours so things like the pastel pinks like the deco pink and the deco peach in the prisma colour all of the um the pastel greens things like that i really like pastels so that is that one so number six I have them all written down next to me so I don't forget so um, sorry if I'm not colouring when I'm reading them so what um, are three of your favourite quotes now I'm not really one for remembering or learning quotes I don't really have any um, I do quote quite a lot though which is quite funny um, I um, with films that I really like I tend to just remember stuff that I find quite amusing, uh, especially in funny films and things like that. And I tend to quote them quite a lot. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't really have quotes, so there's not really any that I can tell you that um, I remember. But yeah, I do like saying or quoting things from films. Um, I'm just picking colours here, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. So don't mind me. Um, I've got my fine liner somewhere, yep. But yeah, things like um, films like Daddy's Home that I really like, which I'll get on to. Uh, that's a film that I find really funny. And there's lots of scenes and things from that that I really like reenacting, uh, which my family find quite annoying, but I think it's hilarious. Um, I kind of have the same sense of humour as my granddad, and we we laugh over the same sorts of things um so number seven what is your favorite show a uh, tv youtube a movie so i have quite a few so my favorite film as well i can't say if it's my favorite favorite film um but my favorite christmasy film apart from all the traditional ones uh, i love home alone obviously but i love daddy's home too it's so good uh it's definitely better than the first one but I went to see it in the cinema whenever it came out. I can't remember. Was it Christmas 2018? Anyway, we went with my grandparents and I was laughing the whole way through. Honestly, it was the funniest thing ever. Um, me and my granddad were laughing so much. I'm pretty sure he nearly wet himself um, laughing. It was hilarious. Um, it's kind of one of those things where it is slapstick comedy and I just find it so so funny um i also really like in terms of shows on tv i really like killing eve um if you haven't heard of it it's on the bbc and it's about a psychopath um, and a lady called eve and how their lives mix together and i love it that might be a surprising thing i'm sure i've mentioned it before but i really really like it <laughs> even though there's a lot of um death in it I just think it's um Jodie Comer who plays Villanelle who is brilliant and there's comedy within this whole drama um I think it's called a dramedy 
dramedy, something like that, where the, the two mix, but it's she's she's amazing. Um, I also really like Keeping Faith. I did one of the theme tunes from that um, in my piano video. If you want to go and check that out, I've mentioned it quite a few times, and I really really like it. Uh, it's based in Wales, and it's a, just a lovely story. It's quite tricky to get hold of. When I watched the first series, um, what, two years ago now, it was quite hard to um, understand what was going on, but it was great. Uh, I also really like The A Word, which is a newer show that I've started watching. Um, in terms of shows on Netflix and things like that, I mean, we only recently got Netflix because um, we managed to uh, share our TV with my grandparents TV because they do have Netflix um, and so yeah I only recently watched some shows that were on there I'm just going to grab my uh, case with my pencils in uh, which is next to me so yeah um, one that I have been loving is Modern Family uh, I think it's brilliant it's my favourite comedy at the moment it's just so funny and it's based around uh, three families obviously a modern family it's um it's just it's just hilarious and we have almost finished season one um yeah i really really like it so um this case i just want to uh, mention i absolutely love it and i mentioned that i was interested in getting it a couple of videos ago and sue berry very kindly sent me the money to get it and um i absolutely love it and so far i have put my whole binds in it and i'm planning on using this for when we um travel because um it's got space for one whole set and then lots of spare room as well so all of them fit really nicely in here and then I've also got an extra extra uh, leaf here so um, it's just amazing and I can't thank you enough Sue it's so so generous of you um, I will put a link to the case and also it's actually it's not on my Amazon wish list because I took it off but um, it's just amazing and it fits 220 pencils I think and yeah, it's just great. So thank you so much, Sue. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so what was I saying about Netflix? Oh yeah, so uh, Modern Family. I like Bad Education. Um, again, that's one of the more recent things that I've started to watch. It um, has got Jack Whitehall in, and I really, really, I think he's really funny. And also it's got Leighton Williams in, and my favourite musical is everybody's talking about Jamie and he was J he was the second Jamie John McCree was the first Jamie and he was my favorite but Leighton Williams was great too and um, that's what got me onto bad education because I uh, read his profile bit in the program and saw that he'd been in bad education so I started watching that and I really really like that um, so yeah that's kind of my favourite shows and stuff. I also forgot to mention here two TV shows that I never fail to watch. They are series um, and they are, I guess, what you'd class as trash TV. Um, so one of them that I always watch when it's on is Made in Chelsea. I probably got onto it about three years ago. My parents were watching one of the, the summer um specials of it and um i started watching it because it was the summer holidays and um i've been watching it ever since it is i guess trash tv uh similar to the only way is essex and things like that but uh i i just think it's hilarious and um they obviously it's based on real life so it's you know it it's just so funny and the other one that i really like is google box um we always watch that. Currently, the celebrity version is on at the moment. I always joke that my grandparents should go on it. Um, but yeah, I just I just think it's great. And again, because it's the actual reactions of um, the people watching the TV, you know, it's not um, scripted or anything like that. It just seems so more real. 
and, and again, I think that's hilarious. So that is the end of this question. And I'm sorry that I forgot to mention it in the original video. Um, where are we? Number eight. So what are three qualities you like in a best friend? Now, I have um, I have got a best friend who lives where I used to live. And we don't see each other that often, obviously, because we're, what, like, five hours away from each other. Um, but she's lovely. And I have had other best friends, but we don't keep in touch. And at my new school, I have friends, but I wouldn't say I have a best friend. And in terms of qualities of a best friend, I would like someone who's loyal and... Um, that's something that's very important to me. Also, honesty is something that's really important. Um, if someone's not being honest with me, I will ask and say, you know, what's going on? Uh, I'm not afraid of standing up for myself if someone isn't acting the way I thought they would be. Um, just because, you know, I think it's more important that people are honest rather than pretending to be your friend or, you know, hiding something from you. And also something that's really important is just someone to have a really good chat with. So I don't want to be in that position where, you know, you're with someone and there's nothing to say. Um, I think it's important that you can just connect with someone and just have a chat. So number nine, uh, what is your dream? Now, Oh, sorry, I'm not sure if you could properly see that. So I don't really have a dream. I used to think I did. Um, in terms of jobs, I um, wanted to be a teacher, a musician. A, I used to want to be a pop singer. Um, <laughs> but I think if I was wanting to be a teacher, I'd either want to be a music teacher or a maths teacher, something like that. But I don't really know. I won't really say I have a proper dream but maybe I will one day so number 10 do you wear makeup so I wear minimal makeup I wouldn't say that I wear as much as lots of other people do at my school I tend to just have the the bare minimum so mascara I put cleanser, moisturiser and toner and stuff on like that uh, in the morning obviously to clean my face because it's really important to keep it hydrated. Um, I have a clear mascara which can be used um, on eyebrows and eyelashes um, and that's pretty much it. I have a bit of concealer here and there if I need it but really I, I don't have makeup, I don't wear foundation. But yeah, um, I think that maybe I will um, someday, but I just don't really feel like I I want to have it at the moment. You know, like a full face of makeup. Just because, one, I probably, I don't have the time in the morning. Um, and also, our school is quite strict on that sort of stuff. But as we've gone up in the years, they, they don't care as much if people do have makeup. But if we're going out, I do make more of an effort and put like, eyeshadow and stuff on. Um but generally, I don't have that much. Um, so number 11, what makes you cry? So really, you know, when I'm angry or sad, I, I cry, you know, if something's happened. Um, I am i don't cry that often. Um, it is a strange thing with me. What makes you happy? Um, so lots of things. So my family, um, you in the colouring community, everyone that has subscribed to me and supports me, you all make me happy. Um, obviously colouring makes me happy. Um, all of my hobbies make me happy. Um, can you see that? Um, oh no, you can't see what I'm colouring, sorry. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so all of my hobbies. And also, um, when I have... When something really pays off um, in terms of my work, so if there's been something that I know I have struggled with and then I do okay um, on something, like a piece of work or a test, um, I am really happy because um, there are some subjects that I struggle with more than others. Um, things especially like science, I've never been great at it. Um, then, yeah, I am chuffed if I do um, better than I thought I would do. 
and I think it is important to be proud of yourself um, sometimes and you know give credit to yourself for doing well so um, yeah uh, so number 14 what is fangirling so especially in the colouring community um, to me fangirling is really admiring someone um, you know there are people that we all started out watching um, that we were particularly drawn to and that have taught us things um, and I think that's really really important because if you just start out colouring and then you, you grow as a colourist those people that you fangirled over to begin with you know have really helped you helped you um, build your confidence with it so I think that's really really important especially with people who um, do tutorials and things and you might follow one and be really happy with the result and stuff so number 15 what are three of your favorite snacks so this ties in quite nicely with the next question they're quite similar um, I actually really like olives so uh, one thing that I have gotten into recently is rice cakes and I like having uh, lots of different things on the rice cakes but I love having olives they're just amazing and usually I just get the the bog standard ones in a jar just the black olives but we do have nice ones um, like when people well all of them are nice but you know the more expensive ones when people come round but I definitely prefer black olives to green olives, but I do like all of them. The only ones that I don't really like are the massive ones. I can't even remember what they're called, but the, the really, really big ones. Um, I also really like, in terms of crisps and stuff, because they're a, you know, snack, um, I have been really liking the Sunbite crisps at the moment. Um, they're one of the healthier options, I guess, for crisps. Um, they've got, um, well the ones I really like are sweet chilli, sweet chilli ones, so yeah, I like those and in terms of uh, something sweet, I do love a good sweet. Um, me and my brother Tom generally like things like fruit pastels or uh, the Moam brand, like the they do the pinballs and things like that. Um, but yeah, generally we do like sweets when we get them. And um, the only things like that that I don't really like are licorice and things. I don't really like those. Um, but yeah, that's that one. So number 16, what are three of your favourite foods? So anything with um, chicken. So things like chicken tikka masala, I absolutely love. It's amazing. Um we have a fantastic Indian restaurant by us, and we don't go that often, but it's so good. It's amazing. Um, I also really like coffee cake. I do make coffee cake quite a lot, and if we are going out and I get it, um, there are very particular things that um, I, I like. I, I will have a coffee and walnut cake but I prefer it when it doesn't have the walnuts and also when it's strong sometimes I find that it's not quite strong enough and I do love a good coffee cake um, and also I really like the goo cheesecakes um, because well actually only a couple of them because um, I don't really like cheesecake normally but um, when we sometimes have the uh, what are they called the the chocolate millionaire ones or just the chocolate ones they kind of mask the the cheesecake um, but yeah I really really like those um, and what are three of your favourite drinks so as you probably guessed from the coffee cake coffee is one of my favourite drinks I've actually got one right now because I knew I would be talking quite a lot so I thought I would um, have one handy to have if my throat gets dry um, <clears throat> but yeah, I absolutely love coffee. Um, generally, on a normal school day, um, I wouldn't have one more than twice a day. Um, obviously, they don't let us have it at um, school. But I will usually have one in the morning before I go to school, which is probably not the best, but you know, it doesn't do anything to me particularly. The caffeine doesn't um, affect me. Um, and then usually when I get home from school. Um, I also really like 
smoothies that I've been making recently. So obviously we we love an innocent smoothie, but I have been making my own smoothies in a small processor that um, I've recently found. So um, generally that will consist of mango, strawberries, raspberries, and then some juice to just smooth it out a bit. And I've been having those pretty much every day. Um, sometimes if I'm not that hungry, I will have it for breakfast. And obviously because it has all the fruit in, um, I mean, I'm not a big breakfast person anyway. Uh, I might have granola and with fruit on or something like that. But yeah, if I'm not particularly hungry, I'll just have a smoothie. Because they are filling even, you know, when you think about it, it's just fruit blended up. Um, and in terms of sparkly drinks, this might be a bit controversial, but I like tonic water um, or sparkling water. Um, I also like lemonade, but I don't have that very often um, but yeah I do like tonic water and sparkling water which um, you know you have to kind of have an acquired taste for tonic water on its own obviously normally adults would have tonic water with gin but I can't remember the way it's got a particular herb in or something like that that um, has a, it, ha it does have a funny taste and I don't have it all the time because it is a weird flavour, but I do like it. Um, um, number 18. Okay, we are halfway through. Gosh, this is going to be a long video. I'm sorry in advance. Um, 18. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself? At least 10 random facts about you. So this is a long question. and I do have a list here. Because um, I don't know how I was going to remember all of them. So... Um, one interesting fact is that I've moved four times, so one of the times I don't remember, um, I was six months old, my parents had a flat in London and yeah, when I was six months old we moved to um, the north of England and I lived there pretty much well, what, until I was about nine and then we moved down to where I am now, um, to the south, however we moved to another house and then we stayed there for three years and then we moved to the house that I'm in now and we've been living here since May 2017 so three years now and I love this house um really really love it and the area is great really like it um so uh, another interesting fact about me, uh, quite a weird one, is that I can touch my nose with my tongue. It's my party trick. Um, none of my family can do it apart from me. Um, my, my tongue isn't actually that long either, so I don't really know, you know, it's no longer than my parents and my brothers. Um, yeah, it's just a weird thing that I can do. So currently I'm doing grade 8 piano. That might be one that you already knew. Uh, I also teach piano, which again... I might have mentioned before. Um, I used to cross stitch. I still do cross stitch. I, I've done a bit lately. Um, well, not lately. I did a Christmas one for my mum and dad, and I'm probably going to do another one. Either start it in July for Christmas in July, or do it for Christmas. I don't really know. Um, I have in my family. Um, my brother Tom, my mum, and my dad. Uh, we're converting our garage. Um, so that my grandparents can live there when they come down for longer periods of time. Um, and I like to read, I play badminton, I like to run. Uh, we've been doing the Couch to 5K recently, which is a running um, app made by the BBC. And that is really, really fun. I actually really like doing it. And I'm currently doing it with my mum and we're on week two. So, so far we've done... Four runs. We're going for another one tomorrow. Sorry, I'm just trying to find some pencils. Don't mind me. Um, I have been to South Africa, which is one of my favourite places that we've been on holiday ever. It was gorgeous. That was ages ago. That was Christmas 2014, I think. Um, I conduct a choir and I help uh, my rainbows, or I, I did, um, obviously past tense. Um, hopefully I will be when everything goes back to normal. Um, and I've been in some shows as well, so um, nothing like the West End or anything, but I've done my school production. So um, 
I was Wendy and Peter Pan and then I've also done Oliver and Joseph at one of my theatre groups which I've stopped um, but when I was younger I did it and also We Will Rock You which I did last year so yeah they were fun I think that's about 10 um, so number 19 what are three fun things you like to do so I could say more than three definitely um, but three that obviously are quite obvious are colouring, singing and piano I really really like doing them um, but also I really like to swim with my granddad when we either go to my grandparents or they come to us generally we'll go to the pools obviously if we're down here because we don't have a beach close to, well that close to us um, we're about mm, the closest one's about an hour and a half away um, or when we're up with them because they live in Devon now uh, we'll go to the closest beach to us or another one and that's only about 20 minutes away which is really really handy and I love that beach we've been going there well I've been going there since I was since I can remember since I must have been about two or one or something like that um, because we always used to go on holiday there and then they recently moved last year um, what best describes where you live? So this is number 20. Um, rural is my word. Um, where I lived uh, in the north, it was still pretty rural, but not as much. Um, we still have lots of big towns um, like next to our village, but uh, it's definitely more rural. Um, our old house that we lived in before this one was literally rural. Um, the closest small town was uh, 10 minutes away um, uh, driving you know we didn't have a shop by us so that was definitely more rural than where we are now but um, yeah I'd say it's still pretty rural around here um, uh, number 21 so what is your crafty slash colouring style so obviously in terms of colouring my colouring style is pencils I generally use them the most um, it's quite a hard question to answer I guess because lots of styles are different and I'd say it's definitely my style. Pencils are my thing. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do next. I might just move the page and do some things up here. I'm not really too sure but I'll just see. Um, I keep losing where the pencils I'm using. Um, so number 22, what is your most used crafty slash colouring tool? So obviously apart from pencils, um, I use my Tegal sharpener so much, I'm using it now. Um, and I also really like my Dermot battery eraser uh, or blender pencils, things like that. And also gel pens and fine liners. So I couldn't really give one specific one, but they are some of the things that I really, really, really like to use. Number 23, what is your most um, wished for crafty slash colouring tool? So um, I have a wish list and lots of those um, things on there are things that obviously I'd like to get someday. Um, I always have it linked in my description um, so that if you want to hopefully get enabled by me um, and see what things I would like to get, um, maybe you can influenced by it I think it's always interesting seeing what um, other people want to get um, but I would love to get the Arteza pencils at some point uh, also the Pablo pencils um, I don't know why they've always intrigued me more than the luminance pencils but they are another thing that I am interested in getting in, but honestly that there's so much stuff and they're also expensive <laughs> you know I'm not gonna have room for all of them but I don't think you can ever have too many colouring supplies. Um, and yeah, so I do buy from my wish list too, so it would be great if I could enable you guys. But yeah, they're kind of the main sets of pencils that I am wishing for. Um, <laughs> I, there is obviously books that I would like to get when they come out. So Clara Markova's new book, Joanna Basford's new book. 
um, things like that. So number 24, what is your favourite craft slash colouring brand? So I really like Caran d'Ache and Faber-Castell because I've got lots of other products from them. Um, not just colouring, so I don't have that many um, Caran d'Ache pencils, I only have the 40 set of super colours and a handful of Pablos in a 12 set, but I do really like um, their gouache that I have, I have a 12 set of gouache, I have their blender, pencils, things like that, and with Faber-Castell, I, apart from the Polychromos pencils, I have their... Um, classic pencils, their rubber pencils, their putty rubber that I have here um, and with Caran d'Ache I also have a handful of Neo Colour um, twos as well. Uh, sorry again I'm just picking colours, they're everywhere. Um, but yeah I do really really like those brands, not to say that they're necessarily my favourite pencils, I love them, um, but they're kind of the most frequent brands I guess that I have colouring and art things for. Number 25, what is your favourite craft? So obviously, apart from colouring, which I guess you can still um, class as a craft, I really like paper cutting, um, whether that is for a card or just to create something. I really like um, card making as well, and I also do quite a bit of lino printing. I've recently done a B, which I will show you in my completed pages video, if I remember. But yeah, I've been doing Lino for quite a while now. Since we were introduced to it in year 8, I have been doing quite a lot. So yeah, I will show you that if I remember. Um, number 26, do you have a pet? No, I don't. I would like a dog. Um, both my parents had dogs when they were younger. My mum had four, I think. Um, but yeah, it's just not the right time, I guess, for us. Um, we are quite busy and there wouldn't be time especially since I mean my dad does work at home now uh, permanently because he has set up his own business um, and left his old job but I still don't think it would be practical which is such a shame um, and they are you know they are a commitment um, but yeah I would love a dog or even you know another pet that wouldn't um, be as difficult to uh, look after I guess. Um, my uncle is allergic to cats so that's why we've never got a cat. I would really like a cat as well but any any pet really. Um, yeah it's just been unfortunate it hasn't been the right time for us. Um, number 27 when is your favourite time to craft? So at the moment obviously with lockdown any time where I don't have to work I love to colour. Um, Normally, if I was at school, I would probably try and colour for at least 10 minutes before school because it sets me up for a really, really good day. Even if it's just that amount of time, it really, really benefits me. And um, just having that small window of um, time for myself before I go to school is just is just great. Um, and then in the evenings, if I can, so. Uh, if we're watching TV, I will generally colour a bit. I don't get much done, but I do do a bit sometimes. Um, so, 28, do you have a favourite non-crafter YouTube channel? So, I do actually. Um, <clears throat> I have loads and loads of subscriptions of colourists. Um, if there's any that you think I should be subscribed to that I might not have found, please let me know um, in the comments. But um, I really like study tubers. So um, just because I watch study tubers, it doesn't mean that um, I absolutely love to study. There are some things that I don't mind revising and doing work for. Um, and obviously I do do all my work if it's set. Um, <clears throat> I try to do it as soon as possible and not leave it too late. Um, but the study tubers don't just do videos on studying, even though they're known as study tubers. They didn't. They obviously started out um, as study tubers, but they've kind of branched out a bit. So um, they have loads and loads of subscribers. So um, I really like Angela Jade, um, Lydia Violetta, Eve Bennett, Ruby Granger, people like that. Um, 
they have some really good content and it's quite valuable you know they they do have some really good tips so yeah that uh, they are some channels that I like to watch um so 29 what is your favorite store so apart from any art store and literally any art store um any <laughs> um I just love going into art stores um, or even a shop that only has a small bit of um an area with art um i will be street in there um i really like lush so it's a store that i've only recently got back into in the last year or so um in fact i think i had got a few things here and there so i'm just going to take a sip of my drink so yeah so i had got a few things here and there in the past I really got back into it and I got a voucher for my birthday I think I've mentioned this to you um, and I really really enjoyed going there I also um, really like it because it has such a variety of things and if you don't know what Lush is it's basically um, a shop that sells loads of um, bath bombs and cosmetics um, they've only recently got into makeup actually um, but they do a lot of bath bombs and um, shower oils and face masks and things like that. And I just absolutely love it. I just get lost in there every time I go in. Um, I just love it. It's so, so good. Um, 30, what is your favourite restaurant? So I quite like in terms of Italian restaurants. I mean, any Italian restaurant. I love pizza, I love pasta, things like that. Um, when we're seeing people, um, we might go to Pizza Express or somewhere like that. Um, I really like, as I mentioned, um, Indian restaurants uh, with curry. Um, I just love tikka masala. It's so good. Um, yeah, so 31, what is your favourite magazine? I don't buy magazines. Um, apart from the old Colouring Heaven one. I haven't got one for a while now, but apart from those, I don't buy magazines. Um, it's just me. My mum um, and dad don't really buy magazines either. My dad buys the newspaper, and my mum borrows magazines from other people, or sometimes she buys them if she knows that um, other people will be interested in them as well. But yeah, um, I don't buy them for myself. Um, 32, who's your favourite author? So one of my all-time favourite books is The War the Merrier by Anne Fine and I don't even know if it's in print anymore because it was done quite a while ago um, but yeah I absolutely love The War the Merrier I can quote so much from that um, going back to one of the earlier questions I just love it so much it's hilarious it's a real good feel good Christmas um, story and it's just excellent um, I love um, Kieran Millwood Hargrave. She did uh, The Island at the End of Everything and The Girl of Incan Stars and also Matilda Wood who did The Boy, The Bird and The Coffin Maker and they're kind of all 12 and under books um, which I obviously read quite a few years ago but um, I just love them and you know if, if ever I need a bit of a pick me up or I'm going back to my old childhood books I will, well obviously I'm still in my childhood but you know um, my earlier years I will go to those sorts of books. Um, I also really like Angie Thomas's book um, The Hate You Give and her newer one that she came out with last year. Um, yeah so um, and also of course uh, the book that I'm currently colouring Joanna Basford um, because I really like the Ivy and the Inky Butterfly story I think it's great and I know she's an illustrator but technically she's an author now so that's cool as well. Um, so number 33, what are your favourite shoes? So m in terms of shoes that I have, uh, my Converse are my favourite. I've had them for quite a few years now and I've grown into them and even though they're kind of breaking a bit, uh, they're so comfy. I uh, really, really like them. And they're navy so they pretty much go with all of my clothes because I really like navy. Um, and the last question is, number 34, what is your favourite time of the year? So I like summertime, but not when it's too hot. Um, I like it with a tiny bit of a breeze, not so it's scorching. Uh, when we went to South Africa, it was in the winter time, and we went at Christmas, so we went on Boxing Day, and um, it was really, really 
lovely because it was so weird obviously it being Christmas um, but it was hot uh, and that was great uh, so yeah they're all the questions so uh, sorry for the hideously long video this was really really long um, mega colour and chat but um, I really enjoyed doing it um, I hope you enjoyed um, learning a bit more about me um, so I am going to tag um, Jamie's Colouring Love um, Erin from Simple Art for Adults and also Debbie Loves to Colour so um, if any of you who have channels would like to do this tag as well please feel free I'm sure um, Debbie wouldn't mind um, I, yeah I believe she was the creator so just let me know if I'm wrong um, but yeah we just obviously want these tags to spread as far as possible and um, that's the idea you know learn as much about um, uh, all of um, us as uh, colouring YouTubers as possible so um, thank you so much again Kirsty for tagging me I so appreciate it um, and yeah um, I really hope you enjoy creating and again all of my links and things like that will be in the description if you want to contact me it will all be there um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye everyone